This video is brought to you by MoreThanARealEstateAgent.com, your number one source for real estate merch on the internet. Use code YouTube for 10% off your first order. I want you to win, and I really truly mean that. Of course, I'd be happy if you decided to align with me here at Real Brokerage in partnership, if it makes sense. But if you're happy at the brokerage that you're at, I want you to get better, get sharper, and get faster utilizing platforms like YouTube and social media. For today's video, I take you guys into a peek inside the curtain with my Friday mastermind call with the other agent partners that I'm in alignment here at Real Brokerage. Because you know what? It's not about me that you'll see other individuals talk about me, 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 my organization organization, my agents, but I'm truly, truly, truly of the mindset that it's all about strategic partnership, if it makes sense. The agent partner that you're going to see today, her name is Shalice Lewan. She's an agent here in Georgia, and she opens up her playbook to show you all from start to finish how to create dazzling video and social media real content using a platform like canva.com. If you don't have a free Canva account, pause this video create your Canva account. That way you can follow along as she shows you all from start to finish how to create amazing video that your current and future buyer and seller clients will find you from. I think it's pretty awesome. And I wanna give you again, the opportunity to just see what's going on some with some of the things that I do with the agents that I'm in partnership with. I'm happy to have a conversation on why alignment with me here at Real Brokerage would probably make sense for your goals. So click the link in the first pinned comment. All of the contact information for the agent featured in this video will be in the description below. And I want you guys to sit back, relax, and get this free 99 game. Let's enjoy. So when you, if you've never used Canva before, um, it's very robust and amazing for social media, videos, anything that you're trying to do. Um, I do everything in here. I do my thumbnails in here. I do my videos in here. I do um, all of my social media posts in here. So if you want to do like a one on one with me ever, just reach out to me and I can walk you through like some things that I do. Um, but we're going to start like when you come onto Canva, the first thing you're going to see is something like this so that you can search. And <laughs> I keep it really simple, honestly, guys. So you're going to go to Canva templates. And from there, it's really awesome. You can just type in something like YouTube home tour video. And once you do that, you're going to see a whole bunch of templates. I'm not sure why it's been a little You're going to see a whole bunch of templates so that you can make your home tour videos, right? And you can also, if you're doing a real, you can type in, you know, real home tour videos and that'll, you know, a bunch of um, different templates will come up for that as well. But here we are. You really just want to choose a simple temple, template. And I'm going to show you once you choose that template, how you can add other things in because that's what I typically do. So I'm just going to choose a simple one. And this is the luxury home tour video. And so as you can see, it just has two little videos here. We're going to click on customize this template. And once we do that, it's going to open up um, just both of those videos so that we can start customizing it. And so once we get in here, there's so much you can do. <laughs> um, I'm not going to walk you guys through everything. It would take a long time, but I'm going to walk you through just, you know, building out a basic video. I do want to call out that this is the design that we're using. If you come right here to design, you can type in again, um, home tour, right? Shalice, it's uh, just, it's still showing the, t the original tab. If you want to share another tab. Oh, it open, I see up that. Door. I see now I'm learning. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> All right. So can you guys see where I am now? Yes, we see. Okay. You. Sorry about that. All, All right. Good. And so once we're here, again, there's so much you can do here. There are tons of tabs over here. I'm going to go over a few of them. Uh, but the first one I want to call out is the design tab. So this one only, because this template only has two videos, you can come over here to design tab. You can type in something like home tour as I have here. And that's gonna bring up more of those home tours that you saw in the beginning. And what you can do is now add in an intro. You always wanna have an intro. You always wanna have an outro, right? You wanna introduce people to what you're about to do, but it doesn't need to be too long. So keep it short and simple. What I would do there is click add a page. I drag that page to the front and then just find something really simple and sleek to put in the beginning. There's one that I particularly like, if I can find it here. Let me see. 
and house tour maybe that'll yeah i like this one it's kind of cool and sleek looking so then you can put some information in here and i kind of have a regimen that i do and i also have made templates so once you make this first video you can just keep using this template over and over and you're going to plug things in um but i'm going to go through and just start adding in now i have my intro now i need an outro this is just how i build um i'm kind of process oriented like that i have to do things in a particular order <laughs> and so we want something that says thank you for you know um coming to my channel where's a good thank you let's find a good thank you here and while she's pulling that up drew did you have a question let me just do a simple one here no not a question i was i was raising my hand because i'm gonna take her class <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Yeah. And so this just says, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Now, what we want to do is drag these because if you click on apply all pages, it's going to change this whole set. So we don't want to click apply all pages unless we just want to change the whole template up. So we're going to drag this thank you into that little box so that now we're building out our outro. Thank you for watching. Anybody that's seen my videos, mine's are a little bit more elaborate. Um, but for this, we're just going to kiss it, keep it simple. All right. And so now we have an outro. Now, the next thing we need to do is start building out our video. So luckily, I already have some videos still in here. Um, you want to make sure that you, you know, upload all your videos, that you've done all your clips from when you were doing your home tour. I'm gonna come through and just use some clips from my most recent video. And we'll start with um, just some B-roll. We wanna show people the, you know, the neighborhood, what where we were, things like that. So we're just gonna pop that in here. And you can literally- For a lay person, for a lay person Shalise, can you explain what B-roll means? You know what, I hear it all the time. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say I actually know. I hear it so much that I just know what it is when I see it. But um, I'm going to think it's like a back roll and, and what you. <laughs> right. Think of it as as the <clears throat> accessories, y'all, that tell the story of your home tour. So um, on Drew's channel, for example, I see that he, he, he has his phone where he's driving through the neighborhood. And then this in this clip for Shalise here, when you do a video, y'all, some of the best storytellers they don't get right to the thing they they add in all this ancillary footage many of which canva offers for free um i think one there's some free videos that are offered here for example if you type atlanta homes or just homes that it can it can tell your story even more elaborately and that's just what b-roll is i'm a, a radio television and minor in college so um, I just wanted to explain that to folks that didn't may not have known what that is, but it's just the ancillary footage that really has nothing to do with the direct um, video you're doing, but it's just adding, it's it's creating an experience that the viewer really feels like they're there. Perfect. I'm so glad you know. <laughs> no worries. Because I didn't. Um, but now I know. So yes, we want to add in some B-roll. And like Marvin was saying, if you come here to Elements, if you didn't have b-roll and you wanted to find some like you said you can type in atlanta home tour or atlanta i would say atlanta neighborhood probably um and then if you come to videos that's just going to show you some videos of you know being in atlanta or whatnot and you can always just pop one of those in show people oh this is the city or something like that um, so just kind of keep that in mind that Canva does offer those. Now, back to here, we have some B-roll, but this is really long. It's 45 seconds, right? We don't want it to be that long. We need it to be a lot shorter. So you have a few options here. Uh, you can change the playback speed. Canva doesn't really have a lot that you can play with when it comes to speed. You can either make it two times faster or two times slower right we don't want it to be slower so we'll make it two times faster so we're moving through the neighborhood and then we can also just shorten it up by dragging here and just make it shorter maybe about 10 seconds or so because you will be talking 
during this time. So you want to give yourself enough time to talk. Always make a script. Um, you know, practice it before you uh, download it so then you know how much time you need here. So now that we have our B-roll going, we want to start adding in some video. Now we want to start with maybe the living room. So now I'm just adding in, you know, different Yeah. yeah. So, um, and I talk a lot. Oh, I know where that is. Um, when I'm doing my home tours, I'm talking to everybody that's in the room with me. <laughs> so you want to make sure you mute <clears throat> mute all of those and you can just come up here to audio and mute those. <clears throat> Sorry. And so because we are going to be adding several clips, you want to copy this clip here and then paste it. Right. We're going to keep copying and pasting because we need to add multiple clips. So we've done the living room. Let's add in some kitchen area. Uh -oh. And I just drag it and pop it in there. We're going to copy and paste that again. And again, you guys, this is just my process. Um, and, and I just want to add while she's doing that, um, if, if you notice on Shalise's, um, all of her files here, she keeps each clip to no more than 30 to 40 seconds because you're designing, you're doing this edit on a website. So the longer the video, it's better to just break up a few clips. Maybe you take 30 seconds and, and highlight the ceiling. You take 30 seconds and then you pan your phone or gimbal uh, in the kitchen, but try to keep the sizes as small as possible because you're designing it on a website. So the longer the file is, the longer it'll take to upload and we just want to remove friction that'll keep you from doing the thing that's going to bring more lead generation to you for free. So I just wanted to highlight that because I noticed her clips are very short, which is how she's able to build this cake, if you will, fairly quickly. Right. And so now that we have some of our videos here, what I like to do is go ahead and edit the video. So I'm going to cut them down. After I cut them down, that's when I really start getting into um, just how it needs to look visually as far as wording and things like that. But first, I want to cut my video down. And there are a few ways to do that with Canva, which is really exciting. So you can come in and what I do is I literally just watch it. So I'll just watch and see, you know, OK, I like that. I like how it's flowing. And again, keep in mind, like I said, get that gimbal or something to keep you steady. I want to maybe cut this out, right? We don't need to take our whole time, sweet time walking through the living room. So what you can do is you can split the page here. So you want to right click, you can hit split the page. It's going to break this video up. Then you can start cutting some stuff out. So we'll drag because we want to jump right into the kitchen. We'll drag here just to cut that little piece out and then let it play. So then It'll look like we're going from run room. We cut that off and now we're panning out to the living room or not the living room, sorry, the kitchen. And so then we can probably cut here. So that's basically what I do. I go through and I start cutting it up. Now I want to kind of highlight something that Canva has that is really cool. And I'm going to highlight it with this video. So they have this function where you hit edit video and it's called a highlights now if you don't have the premium version you wouldn't be able to use this wherever you see a crown that means that you have to have the premium version but if you do have the premium version you can hit what's called highlights and canva will go ahead and chop this up for you and give you the highlights of that video because again this clip is 42 seconds actually so it's really long we need to cut that up we don't need to see the stairwell so we'll select the living room tour that it gave us and the bathroom peak that it gave us. And if you hit add selection to design, boom, you got that. You know, you already got the two clips that you needed from that whole video without having to sit there and see, ooh, do I want this part? Do I want to split that up? So that's another thing that Canva does that is really cool. So after we have some video done, um, and for the sake of time, I'm not going to sit here and chop all this up because it's like 12:30. I don't want to take up all the time, you guys. And so what we want to do now is add some transitions. So what you can do is in between every single clip, 
you have what's called a transition and you can add a page we're going to add a transition we have a few here not a whole lot to choose from but they do the job you don't really need a whole lot um it's more about the video not the transitions right and so i typically use match and move but you have dissolve you can slide it you can circle wipe it in and out um there's a color wipe and you can actually change the colors here i have used this one pretty often i like the way it moves it's kind of cute you can line wipe so there's so many you know different ones you can use i typically use match and move throughout my actual video clips because i want it to be quite seamless i take that down to about 0.2 seconds because we don't need to go from one clip to the next really slowly we need to go ahead and get there right and then from there, you can hit apply between all pages. Boom, that's done. And so then it kind of looks like. Let's zoom out. <laughs> and then it just pops through. There's probably some lag time because this is on the computer. It hasn't been downloaded yet. Um, but that's kind of how this would look. It'll kind of seamlessly go through the video here. And then the next thing I do from there is I start working with my wording. So now I want to make sure that people know what the video is about, what we're doing, where we're going. So the first thing we want to do is say, okay, we're at address what, you know, one, two, three, anywhere street. This is going to be a home tour. So you want to put something here so that we know what we're doing um, and, and what people know what they're watching. You can put that it's 3,000 square feet for bedrooms. I typically wouldn't put that there. So I'm going to delete that right here. You can add in maybe your logo. That would be a good thing to put so then people know um, that it's you know your company and that you work with real you can also put your contact information if you want to right here i have what's called a brand you can just pop your logo in here but i have my logos in a brand here so what i would do is i would come here i put my logo here delete what's happening there and because this is a black background, we want it to be white. We just want those white letterings. You can come up to edit image, which is really cool. Canva has some things that you can do like a magic eraser, magic grab. It's gonna grab any element on the actual um, screen here, which is really cool. So play with those at your leisure, but we wanna remove that background. We wanna make this a whole lot smaller to fit in this little spot here line it up and now we have our logo people know it's a home tour we can maybe say that we're in grayson georgia today and so now from there i want to make sure that as we go through people know what room we're in that's pretty important right so we're going to change this wording here and we just want to put something simple in like maybe we're going to add a text box so when you come to add a text you can add a text box they have a lot of cool little text i keep it really simple um so i'm going to say so this is the living room can i, can I spell one good, font that I, one good font that i like to use on canva is called impact <clears throat> a lot of my thumbnails impact from a youtube standpoint it draws a lot of people's attention uh, when they see the thumbnails, what I heard some cool YouTubers say. Um, but whatever you can use, I was just saying, if anyone wants to know no, what I, I like use. Impact. That's yeah. a really good one. I haven't used it before. I may try using it as well for my thumbnails. And so when you come over here, um, Canva has tons of fonts, really, really awesome. I mean, you can make it look however you want it to look. Um, but I really like the fact that they have a lot of fonts. When you're making thumbnails and things, that does come in handy in social media having all these fonts is um, pretty important. And so we want to make this white so people can actually see it because you can't really see black there. Um, we're going to change all of our fonts to a white font. And I just take this and I start copying and pasting it. Um, again, I, I keep it pretty simple, actually, because, you know, for the sake of time, we have a million things that we're trying to do every day, right? So you can't spend too much time on videos <laughs> so i'm gonna copy this and paste it and the great thing is when you paste it it pastes in the same place that you copied it from on the last page so then i go through and i copy and i paste it and i change it so maybe this is the kitchen 
You may want to say something like a spacious kitchen, open and airy kitchen. You can give it some adjectives. I probably wouldn't put one here because we're still in the kitchen. I'll probably come over here. Let's see, to the bedroom. We're in the bedroom okay, what, now. What I like to do, y'all, is if the builder tells me that there's granite versus marble, for example, in the kitchen, anything that they tell me if I'm touring a new construction, it's already laid out for you. This was a new construction community, Shalise? It was. Okay. So look how, if you're watching this video, obviously she's putting this together on the fly for our call here, but this looks like an episode of HGTV just because she's sticking with new construction communities. And I strongly suggest that y'all, um, especially in the world that we're in, in our state here in Georgia, you have to have that form F258 completed before you can tour a home. So making it easier for myself and for those of you as well, I suggest um, dialing in on new constructions because you only have to do it one time for the whole neighborhood and you don't have to keep getting that form in order to do these tours and these videos look amazing because the builder of course um staged it so it looks looks really good and she's adding her flavor to it and this is gonna definitely do numbers if it hasn't already um on youtube yeah definitely i agree with you if you're in a place that's already been staged, I mean, it makes 100% of a difference. Um, so many things to highlight and, and just go through for, you know, your audience. Um, and so after we've added in some words here, we want to make sure that the words are coming in at the right time. We don't want our words just sitting on the screen all day. People want to see video, not words. So cool thing about Canva, you can right click here and hit show timing. When you do that, it's going to show you how long these words are sitting on this whole clip. So we don't want them to be there forever. We just want them to come in at the beginning. We want to say living room and then, sorry about that. And then maybe pop out after about four seconds. You know, it doesn't take people long to read what's happening on the screen. And so you just want to go through each of them. You want to select the actual wording and again, adjust it to make sure that it's a little bit shorter. So it's coming in and going out at a particular time. So now if we play this, it's going to look something like this. Now we have our living room pops up and it goes out. If we don't like the way it just popped in all abrasive, we can go to what's called animate. And from there, you can have them wipe in. You can have the letters kind of breathe in. Baseline just pop up from the bottom. There are just so many different ways you can have those letters come in. Um, we're just going to do a quick baseline here. And so then you would just go through and you do that for each one. Um, quick little hack. I would go ahead and put my words here. I would go ahead and pick out whatever kind of animation I want for them, then I'd start copying and pasting those words onto each page. So then the animation will follow what you copied and paste. So this will be animated the same way and each word from there will be animated the same way. So keep that in mind. Um, now that we have words, we're going to hide the timing. And if some of you guys have seen my video, you'll see me pop into the video, right? You may want yourself, you know, you want a picture of you to pop into that video so people know, hey, you're the agent. What you can do is upload your photo. I'm gonna come over here to images and we'll just pop in a picture of me. I look, you know, pretty strong there, like I can do some business. So I'm just gonna pop myself over here in the corner. I'm gonna edit the image. And I'm going to remove the background so that I'm kind of seamlessly in there. And it's like, hey, you know, I can be your realtor and help you out here with this new home build. Choose me. We're going to animate it so that I am just popping into the page. Hey, how are you doing? Boom. And so what I like to do on that one is it'll say animate. Do you want it to pop in and out? Both is enter and on exit. I only enter in. Right. You don't want me being weird and exiting out in a weird way. So I'm just going to do that. And then we also want to show timing because we don't want me just sitting on the page all day. Right. You want me to pop in or you want yourself to pop in at a strategic time. So if you're talking throughout here and it's and then you get to a place where you're like, you know, I'm your realtor. Call me. You'll pop in and then you'll pop out. And that'll look something like this. Hey. 
And, and I think this I is I think this is powerful, um, especially because if we're talking about YouTube, y'all, uh, attention spans are very, very short on YouTube. So if you're wondering, okay, I want to do this video, but I really want to maximize the lead generating opportunity, I would throw this picture of yourself or myself, who has doing a video at the within the first 30 seconds of the video. Mm -hmm. um, again, because individuals are going to make the decision to either stay on your video and continue to watch it or they're going to pop off. So if they are the latter, well, at least you you popped in yourself with your contact number. And that, in a lot of cases, might keep them on the channel for even longer because they see someone that reminds them of their sister, daughter, whatever the case is, brother, uncle, your favorite realtor's favorite realtor, you know, that corny line I use. But, you know, putting that in the first few seconds is very, very key. So I'm just adding on to what Shalise is doing because that may make the difference with them staying on your channel versus going to another video. Completely agree. Yep. And if you want to add what I do in my videos, um, again, if you go and look at that, look at them, you'll see I have my name over here in the corner of every single clip, my name with either my website, I think, or my phone number. It's one or the other, but that's in every single one. And again, I've built out templates. So I just use the same templates over and over and I'm just popping in clips. So that's always in the corner. I highly suggest that you go ahead and put your name, contact or something right there in every clip. And again, you can copy and paste that once you've done it. Um, and so the last thing we want to do, because we pretty much have a video now, again, it's that simple. You guys, you know, you have your transitions, you have your wording, you've put yourself into the video. People know what we're about to do. It's a home tour. You know, they know where we are. Um, they have your logo. Now, all we need to do is add some music and some voiceover. So for music, you just want to come to audio and you want to select the music that you like. This is where your audio is going to be. We're going to delete this audio because I'm not sure um, where that came from. Sorry, wrong thing. We want to slide all the way to the front and I'm just going to choose the first thing. It just sounds light and airy. I like my music to be very light and airy. I like music that makes people feel like, you know, they're being taken back to a time when life was just great. So just keep that in mind. I'm not sure why that didn't pop in. Let's just click it there. There we go. And that popped in. Um, and, and I say that because when I listen to videos sometimes, and I, I've, again, watched a lot of YouTube videos, the ones that make me feel the best are the ones that, and I'm an 80s baby, you know, I listen to a lot of 80s and 90s music still, ones that make me feel like I'm with my family again. Because you got to think when you're, you know, trying to convey, hey, you should buy a home this home is perfect for you. You want them to feel at home with the music. So that's just, you know, my two cents, maybe choose something that feels like airy, home, nostalgic. Um, and so we want to make sure the volume is low because we're going to be talking over this. So we come up, change the volume down to maybe about, a, I would say about a 12. That keeps it really low. And then if we play it, I like that or you can barely hear it. <laughs> and I do change my volume. So <clears throat> when I'm talking, the volume will be low on about a 12. And then once we kind of get into the video, what I would do here is drag it to where I stop talking. I'd come in and right click, split the audio. Once you split that audio, you want to drag it over about a second because this, you need that overlap so that it gradually increases and gradually decreases. So you want it to fade in, fade out. Um, so then we're going to go to audio effects. We're going to have this fade out, sorry, for about a second. And then we want this to fade in for a second because we're about to make the music louder because as people are watching the video and there are no words, you're not doing the, the voiceover part, they just wanna hear music. So then we can bring the volume up to maybe about a 25. Um, I, I don't really do loud music, but you know, it's up to you, however you want your music to be. And that would sound something like this. And so it just gives it a gradual, just a little bit louder. Um, so these are just little things that you can kind of play with and say, oh, okay, I like that or I don't like that, however you want to do it. And then now, again, that we have our video, we have our intro, we have our whole video, we have our outro here. 
we're going to export this. And so I don't actually do my voiceovers in Canva. Um, it does have a voiceover option. I've never really used it. So when you come to uploads, you can record yourself speaking. Again, that's not something I do. I actually do my voiceovers in iMovie. So I export in 4K. Um, that's really important. You want your videos to look as crisp as possible. So you want to export it in 4K. And I love that Canva allows us to do that. Once you, I download it, I put it into, like I said, iMovie. Um, and I, I think another reason why is because I have my script. So always make a script. That's another um, really important part of your videos. If you're going to be doing voiceover, make sure you know what you're talking about. You don't want to have a bunch of ums and, you know, like you're stumbling through your words. Know what you're going to talk about. And so then I'll have on one screen, like on my computer, I'll have my script up. And then on my iPad, I'll be doing my voiceover. And that's kind of how I do it. Once I do the voiceover, I'm ready to upload it to uh, YouTube. And that's about it. Any questions, though? I know I kind of ran through that pretty quickly, uh, but do we have any questions? While folks are thinking about their question, I just want to thank you, uh, Shalise, for doing this. This is uh, awesome. And um, in addition to iMovie, if anyone in here, uh, God help you, you have an Android, um, you can use CapCut to do the, the same thing. iMovie is uh, specific to MacBooks and uh, iPhones. Um, but CapCut allows you to use it on any uh, any computer type of computer to, to do it. And uh, Brandon has a question. Go ahead, Brandon. Yes. Roughly, how long are your videos? Um, I try to keep them to less than four minutes. Like uh, a sweet spot is going to be about three to three and a half minutes or less. But if you just for some reason have a lot more footage and you really want to show people this home, um, you can get up to four minutes. But like Marvin was saying, you know, people on YouTube and anywhere, they really just want to get in and get out. They want to see the the meat of the video. So you want to give them the highlights and the best part. So keep it short. Yeah. And for social media clips, Shalise, um, there's a for those of you watching, Campbell also has this exact same video template that you can build out. I, I believe you would just type in the word social media video and then it will show like this is, of course, horizontal made for YouTube. But if you typed in reels, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> now you can do this exact same thing for um, for social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook reels. I feel like you should you should do both. If you have yeah. the same video file, y'all do both because you never know what's going to hit and what's not. and um, the same way that she built this cake, look the 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 template in the middle right here that she's hovered over. That mm -hmm. looks almost identical to the horizontal video, but it's just upright. You build it the exact same way that she showed you. I would keep these types of uh, home tour videos if you're going going to do the social media video route uh, to 30 seconds or less, because on social media, folks' attention is even shorter than it is on YouTube. Um, but build your cake exactly like this. Don't pay somebody to do this, y'all unless you just get so busy in your real estate business that you just don't have the time to do it. Um, for right now, those of you, many of you are new, leverage the free. If you made a video tour like like what Shalice did, you can turn that into an ad. You can do whatever you want with that. It's yours, you created it, and uh, you, you'll you look incredibly professional to the consumer because you took the time to really learn this stuff here with Canva. Um, you know, for free 99. I'm going to go back and watch this recording like as soon as we're done. So I appreciate you. Yeah, no problem. And like I said, I, I'm more than happy to answer questions offline. You know, just reach out to me um, and I can show you some other little things that I do. Because like I said, I use it for everything. And it does make, like you said, Marvin, um, everything look a lot more professional. Um, we always want to put our best foot forward, right? So. Yeah. Anyone else have any questions? Uh, Monique has a question. Go ahead, Monique. No, I just wanted to say that I was definitely going to reach out because this is exactly what I'm working on right now. So I could use a few um, pointers and I'm not in a place where I could really take the notes that I wanted to take. So, Yeah, most definitely. And like I said, um, I can appreciate you. That was really good. Oh, no problem. And, and once you got, like I said, once you all make templates, life gets a lot easier i have tons of templates and it seems like a lot but it's really not um you know because again once you you make it you set it and you got it um if i come down to me 
and I have other businesses. So, you know, that's another reason why I got into Canva. But this is everything that I have for my real estate. And it's my logo, my branding, um, you know, email marketing, rack cards, things like that. I've made templates for just about everything, even my resources. I have guides out there. If you guys want to look at my guides and you want help with making guides, I actually sell my guides too on Etsy or whatnot. Um, you know, if you utilize. You, sell? you say you sell it? I do. I sell my guides. So like Love I it. have. Um, Love it. My ultimate buyer's guide is sitting on Etsy for people to buy. You know, once you make things like this, you can just go in and change them out. But again, it's about building out templates to start with. So like this is a, a buyer's guide, like I said, that I built out. It's 21 pages, but, you know, it's robust. It's got information in there, process, home buying process, tips, things like that, finding the right agent. It's going over financing and the different types of loans you can get. And all this information, and I know you want me to do another one of these, is on ChatGPT, you guys. So once you jump into ChatGPT and you really understand how to start um, prompting it, it's gonna give you so much. I built this whole buyer guide by telling ChatGPT to basically, you know, give me this for a buyer give me that for a buyer give me this for a buyer and it's building this out and i'm popping it into canva into this template and it doesn't take me long to build these out and again wow. you can sell these you can have a whole side hustle you can sell these wow. um so this looks super professional and i was just going to add to your point about um if you don't know what to say when you're doing your voiceovers y'all um as Shalice just mentioned have Jet chat gpt create a a script for you to read when you're doing your voiceover work um a lot of times what i'll do is if if the listing has a description already built out that someone the person doing the listing wrote i will copy that listing description information put it in chat gpt with a prompt that says turn this my name is marvin chat gpt write this like a social media marketer and turn this description or the following text into a voiceover script like if you tell it exactly that, it'll break it up. It'll give you a place where your name is there and all you're doing is just reading it uh, verbatim while you're doing the voiceover work. And as Shalice just mentioned, she was never in front of the camera in the videos that at least we saw here. So you can knock these out regardless of whether, if you're like me, you got your hair cut or whether you're dressed or you're just coming from the gym, but you just wanna get content created. This is how you're going to create content at speed and there's no difference between if I'm looking at this real estate page here, I don't know whether I'm looking at a brand new agent or a multi-million dollar agent. I can't tell the difference. So that's the power of this kind of stuff and just getting very consistent with it. And um, I, I'm telling you now, this is going to turn into evergreen content as you continue to do it. And clients will will find you and they will assume that you've been doing this since time immemorial and you might just be a brand new agent. 